Okay, we're looking at pack seven for post 16 today. Um, so let's have a look at some of the activities that we're asking you to do. Um, so this time we're giving you a bit more detail. We asked you to review some of the chores and things that you've covered in previous week's last pack. So we said about making dinner, making breakfast. Um, for some of you needed a bit more support with that, we've got that in this pack. So if we're doing hoovering, you might want to know what the names of those parts of the hoover are. And um, we've got some questions as well. And just to let you know what a dust might look like. Uh, so yeah, we definitely want to get those out of our house and homes. Um, we're also going to do an activity where you're looking at doing some cooking um, because some people are looking at um, employability in terms of working in the kitchen. So you've got some information about making some different foods. You've got tomato sauce this week, I know. You've got pasta, you've got cheese sauce, and you've got a Spanish omelette. So again, we've got quite a lot of information. You've got some reading that you can do there as well, um, as well as the instructions on how to make the omelette are in the pack. Um, as I said, pasta here, different types of pastas. You might not realise how many different types types there are so a little bit of history um, and then moving on to the activity and um, again depending on how much help you might do this on your own you might do this with a little bit of support um, you might do this in partnership with someone else you decide the level of support that you need um, then we're also looking at employability about risk assessments so you've got a variety of different pictures where you need to circle the risk as we've done here um, and then you'll need to write down in a grid if you can remember some people would just do the circling of the risks and talk them through with someone um, other people will then go onto the table and write down what the risk is, uh, why it's the risk, and how they'd avoid it. So this gentleman, what's the risk? Well, he can't really see where he's going, so he might trip and fall. Um, what could we do instead? We could ask him to carry fewer, or we could get them on a trolley so he can clearly see where he's going. Um, then, So there's some risks to look at, at in a, employment uh, opportunities, but also within the home, so have a look at those. Um, and then we've got some exercises. We've looked at some two people exercises this time, so exercises you can do at home. Make sure that if you're come in contact with each other's hands, even if you're in the same household, that you're clean before and you're clean afterwards. Um, we've got some exercises with feet here. Just thought it looked like something different to do to sort of mix it up, really. And sometimes if you're working with a partner, you're a bit more motivated to do it together. Um, and then we got a bit of a game for PE this time. Um, you can see this is made out of a, a cone, which is made out of paper. You could use a cereal box, cut it up, um, stick it together. Um, this one is a pom-pom to try and catch. So again, it's hand-eye coordination, repetitive actions, which are useful for PE. Um, but you could also just scrunch up a piece of paper and try and catch it. Um, if you want to, you could compete uh, in your home to see how many times you can do it without dropping. So just trying to mix up the PE because we know um, you might be off for some time and you want to do some different types of exercises.